ladies and how's it going? Today I'm making another tour of my Sinforce tutorials channel. And this tutorial was suggested by somebody several months ago, but I don't remember who. Um, it, but the tutorial he requested was fonts. How do you make your own fonts in Game Maker or in, in general? So um, it, if you want to make a font and install it on your computer and you can, in a way that you can use it in Word or Notepad or Game Maker, whatever, um, the way, best way to do that is go to yourfonts.com. You can get a template from there, and, and using that you can draw in all your characters, and you can send it back to them, and they'll give you a font, and you can basically install your handwriting as a font. I, I did that, and it, and it looks pretty cool. So that, um, well, I'm not sure how much it cost. It initially was free, then it cost $10, and now I think it's free again, but I, I don't know what, what they can do with it in the future, but anyway, that's probably the easiest way for you to make your own font, is um, that's yourfonts.com. So the in order to do a game maker, especially in game maker, if you want to do that, um, game maker has a function in its library that is designed to convert a sprite over to a font. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So moving on to tutorial, you'll find out how to do that. All right, let's get started. So um, to start off, let's make a sprite that will represent all of our that will contain all our characters for our new font. So let's type down SPR font and click edit sprite. And let me resize this quickly. So we're gonna make one submit for each character. And to start off, we're gonna make um, characters zero through nine. So the first character, first character, I'll just make zero. Oops, that's a horrible zero. Zero. And you're probably gonna want to spend more time working on these, but I'm just gonna quickly draw them with with my mouse. And we just, um, oops. We just create them all the way up until nine. All right, zero. Next is one. Next is two. Next is three. Next is four. Then five. Then six. Seven. Eight. Oh, eight. Nine. And that's it. So there we go. The, the, these are our characters that we're going to have in our new font. Now, right now, the, once we create the font, it's only going to contain these characters, not nothing else. So if you type out anything else, it'll come out, show up blank. Now let's create an object to and draw out this stuff. All right, here we go. Um, so the function, or I, I take it back. First, we're going to go ahead and na name the font. So I'm going to just call it font, and it's equal to a function that's going to create the font for us. And that function is font add sprite. So, first argument in this is which font are we using? Or, sorry, which sprite are we using for this font? So that's SPR font, because that's what we called our sprite over here. Next is what our first character is. Now for this, um, this requires a little bit of background information. Um, we're going to look at the ASCII table, and that is basically a table that organizes all the characters in, in a font. So in order to figure out how that's set up, we're going to go to google.com. Let me just put that in here. And if we google ASCII, which is character encoder of our region. So your first is ASCII table. And here you see it. ACII stands for American Standard Code Information Interchange. And it's just a table that um, uh, um, contains numerical representation of all the characters that we use on our keyboard. So if, <clears throat> because on the computer everything's stored in binary code, which can be represented as numbers. And so in order to uh, store characters in there, we have this table which shows them how they would be stored in numbers. So as you can see here, we have like number 35 in binary, and the character representation of that is ha hash, hash mark. And 41 is parentheses, and so on and so on. They contain all the numbers in. And in, in Game Maker, for our function, we want to say where along this table do we start out at. We started from zero. So that would be 48. So after, so 48, and then 
it follows the pattern 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so, so on. And it's important that it follows this, this um, uh, order. You, you can't just make, make your subdivisions in random order. They have to go in the order of the ASCII table. So we start at 48. So we'll go ahead and type down 48 as the first character in our um, sprite. Next is proportion. This is a true-false thing. If it's false, it'll just input the entire sprite as we have them. If we put down true, it'll look at how much of the sprite we're actually using up. Using up. So, for instance, if we drew our character in the sprite and we left the left two pixels pixels on the side blank, if we type down true for proportional, it'll cut those two pixels out to make it as um, clean as possible. Um, sometimes you may want to do this. Sometimes you may not want to do this. But I'm going to say false because that way I have more control over what's happening. Oftentimes you put down true, it'll look a lot cleaner, but then you have less control over what's happening. So now since I put down false, it'll be it'll be separated as the, as they would for our sprite. So the last one is separation. How much space do you want in between each character? So usually you don't want to do one or two pixels. I'm just going to do one. So one pixel in between each character. Now that we've created our font, we want to um, show that we want to use that font when we draw stuff. So we're going to say draw set font and which font? font because that's the name of this variable font we just created so now let me just draw some stuff so draw text first two arguments are xy x comma y so, so we'll type down for x we'll just type down 0 and for y we'll just type down room Height divided by two, so it'll show up roughly in the center, um, vertically wise. And then what? What do we want to type down? Does zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? There. Now, if we create a room and add our object to it, when we run the game, it will show up like this. See, this is the font that we just created. 0 through 9, and, and it works out pretty well. <clears throat> yes, I do. Okay. So now let's go ahead. Oh, so now let, let's say we want to add um, some uppercase characters to our font as well. So let's go into our font again, and and it's right. And let's go back to our ASCII table to look up where our capital letters stand. So our capital letters start at 64, or, or sorry, 65. So for us to add to our sprite, we're going to need to, we have to add some stuff for 58 through 64 because if we if we just go ahead and start at A, it will it will um, use what we put down for A as the character for uh, colon and the character we use for B as semicolon. So we're going to have to create. Um, dummy characters for uh, 58 through 64 so you can make these ho however you like but um, I'm just going to put down blank ones because we we're not planning on using them so I'm, I'm looking at the table right now I'm going to create a new submit for colon then semicolon less than sign equal sign more than sign question mark and then the at symbol so these blank ones will fill up um, character 58 through 64 and then for our 65th we're going to go ahead and create the letter A so I'll just draw a letter A again you're going to want to make it a lot nicer than that let me just add a few more see how far this goes so now B C E, E, F, G, and there we go. So now we have A through G added to it, and it's important that you remember that these blank spaces are necessary to fill up the A, C, S, I, I spaces. And back into our object. So th this, um, Font as sprite code will we'll stay the same because it'll just it'll start start um, replacing from spot 48 
and it'll just move on from there no matter how many we have. And I'm going to set proportional to true because it'll save a lot of space and I don't think we'll be able to fit everything if we leave that at false and it'll look up cleaner. So I'm just going to, after 0 through 9, I'm going to type in A, B, C, D, E, F, G. <clears throat> Alright, let's, let's try it out. So now we have it all drawn out and it's all set. Alright, that's the S end of the tutorial. Now you know how to add your own fonts. I, I hope you found it helpful. Um, this is my, my new channel. If there's anything you feel like I should do differently in my tutorials, um, then please let me know. I, I want to make them as good as possible. And, um, you know, please write, comment, subscribe to help help my channel. And I also have a website, sinforge.co. I have other tutorials on there. I'm going to have challenges. And it's also a work in progress, so if you can give me tip, tips on that, I, I would greatly appreciate that as well. So, um, without any further ado, that well, that's it. I'll end the tutorial here. Have a nice day. I'll see you guys later.